Hi everybody, this is Hadi from Connectum. Today I'm going to show you how to connect your multi-tech conduit wirelessly over to your LAN network. Connecting the conduit wirelessly will enable you to access your conduit easily, whether through your iPhone, iPad or your tablet. This kind of setup will also save you from the restriction of communicating only through the Ethernet interface. This is especially useful if your device do not have an Ethernet port, such as my Surface Pro tablet. Please note that this tutorial is meant only for AEP users. This tutorial also assumes that you have wireless router and that your router have an Ethernet port, which will be used to connect your conduit to the wireless router. Please also take note that while accessing the graphical web interface can be done with any device, accessing and configuring the node read seems to be a problem in devices such as iPhone or iPad. I would strongly suggest that you operate node read using device like tablet such as Surface Pro or just a laptop. I've already tested them and they work just fine. Please make sure you connect your conduit to the router LAN port. It does not matter which port you connect to as long as it is the LAN port. Next, in order for the conduit to be able to connect to the LAN network, it must be assigned to a static IP address or a fixed address. Please also note that since my router address is 192.168.1.1 and I'm behind a classy network, I must make sure that the conduit must be in the same network as my router. I will assign a fixed address of 10, thus giving it the address of 192.168.1.10 for my conduit. Now let us configure our conduit. Log in to your main table or PC. The first thing that I'm going to do is determine my router IP address. You can easily find them out by accessing the PowerShell command and typing ipconfig. Your router IP address is the default gateway, and in my case, it is 192.168.1.1. Next, please make sure that your tablet is connected to the back panel of the conduit via USB. And next, we are going to run PuTTY to access the conduit M Linux interface. Type in PuTTY and we will get putty and make sure that you find out your com port which is connected to your tablet in my case it is com4 and make sure the speed is 9600 and you'll be presented with the m linux login screen username is admin password is admin type ifconfig to find out your ip address of your conduit in my case it is 192.168.1.10 and the mac address is shown as follows and if it is different type ifconfig ethernet 0 192.168.1.10 or whatever IP address that you're going to give it to and then check again by using ifconfig and over here I have made sure my IP address of the conduit is 192.168.1.10 and you're done Type exit. Next, we are going to configure our router. Please log in to your router through the graphical user interface. And we will use the address that we got from the IP config earlier, which is 192.168.1.1. Type in your username and password for your router and click login. The first thing that we are going to do is we are going to make sure that our router is connected to the conduit. And you can access the LAN interface to check. And we have LAN 1 connected to our conduit. Okay, and that means that the conduit is connected to the router. Next, we will check the LAN device. In my case, my multi tech conduit is already connected. And if you don't see your multi tech conduit over here, you can manually click the new button 
and name your conduit whatever you like i'll just call it multi-tech conduit and for the device type i will just choose randomly like ip set top box you can name it whatever you like and then you can type in your mac address that you got earlier from your if config so i'll just randomly put the uh, mac address since i already have my multi-tech conduit set up So the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to configure our static IP address for the conduit. Go to LAN interface and find out where you can reserve your DHCP. Click the DHCP reservation. In my case, I've already set up my multi-tech conduit. If you haven't set up your static address, click on the create new static address and reserve the 192.168.1.10 to multi-tech conduit. Click save. And this way, you have already set up your multi-tech conduit as a static IP. And the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to log in into our conduit through the graphical user interface. But before that, log out from your router first. Last but not least, access the conduit using static IP that we have set for the conduit. Ignore all security warning and you will be presented with the login page. Username and password is admin and click login. You'll be presented with the device information. Take note of the internet information. You will have the IP address, the gateway, the mode, and most importantly, take note of the DHCP state. If it is enabled, click setup and network interface to edit. Click the pen icon to edit. Set the mode to static. Make sure IP address is still 192.168.1.10 and gateway is the same. And then click save and restart. This button will be red in color. After you have restarted your device, you're good to go. Do one last check in the ethernet section. If everything is okay, click log out. And you're good to go. And thank you for watching and subscribe if you like my work.